Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing a Team of the Week 18 overview. So before this video starts, just want to say we're at 2,200 subscribers right now. So that's insane, guys. Uh, thank you very much for that. So new type of video. If you're going to uh, go on to enjoy it, please drop a like. If you're watching right now on your phone like that, please turn it around, do that then click the like button, it'll be down there somewhere, so that'd be amazing. And also, while you're down there, if you can click the subscribe, get that to 2001, and that'll be brilliant. So, um, yeah, we're on the road to, uh, obviously, 3,000 subscribers. But, yeah, likes and comments appreciated. So, let's get into this Team of the Week 18 overview. Like I said, I haven't done this before, but I'm hoping you guys will like it. Um, I thought it'd be quite a, quite a good idea just to go through team of the week who's good who's not the hidden gems stuff like that so i have had a little look at the team of the week um just uh before i record before i started recording um it does look like to me a really nice team of the week couple of hidden gems in there couple of stinkers like always and uh a troll let's just say um in the team of the week so if we go through it through the starting 11 i guess we got pope Alvedi, Marcelo, Romero, Kostic, De Jong, Madison, Neymar, Bernardo Silva, Benzema, Pellegrini, Keita. Oh, sorry, we're on to the reserves now. Um, might as well say him. Keita, Hoysiner, um I'm not even going to pronounce that. I literally, I'll literally, just butcher it. He's an, an Iran player from uh, Eredivisie. Akbuna, um, Barisic, Zakani, um, Baudu. I could be uh, like butchering some of these. Mensa, Canales. Uh, Kramerich, Atal, Muller, and yeah, I think that's it there. So, starting 11 is obviously where the best players are at. What I'm going to do, I think, we'll, we'll head over to Footbin in a second, just to have a look at some of the prices, but we'll go through uh, go through some of the stats here now. Uh, we'll, try, we'll try and stay brief. We'll start off with the best and most obvious, Neymar. There's not much need to say on this. You can't improve from 5 star, 5 star, so that's 10 out of 10 there. High medium is, in my opinion, the right... The right one. I don't like high low just because you do need them coming back a bit. High medium, in my opinion, is perfect. Five nine is amazing as well. Neymar, I've got his UC out. He's brilliant. The stats upgrade may not be too amazing, but he's just gonna feel insane. If you get this guy red in form, it's game over for your opponent. Literally, it's gonna be. He's insane. Um, from what from what I've used from his UCL, his finesse shots insane. Dribbling is probably one of the best in the game. Skill moves feel amazing and well um shooting obviously he's brilliant as well injury prone's nothing flair i don't really notice technical dribbler i must notice and then outside the foot shot is nice because obviously this is it's a different dynamic for him to use not that he needs it because he got five star weak foot but yeah neymar is the obvious one he's out the way because there's not much to say about him benzema is an interesting one four star four star brilliant medium low's a bit iffy six foot one is more like a target man because of the lack of pace and the lack of balance he's going to be one to ping the ball into chest it down and, and like play it off lay it off to someone i think he'll be i think he'll be fun to use but he's not going to be foot champs verified in a way i think um yeah there will be few better players than him if you're looking for getting behind but in terms of hold it up and shoot like a lewandowski a harland um i think benzema's up there but then then again lewandowski and harland have more pace so, I don't know. It's an interesting one, but he'll be insane at finishing. Um, next big boy, Bernardo Silva. Say big boy. He's about 5 foot 8, so uh, he's not exactly massive, but um, he is he is the he is the dribbler, the technical player in this team. High high, which is which is nice. I do like high high. And then left-footed, interesting. You know, not all players are uh, left-footed, so you know, one to one to think about, I guess. Four-star skill moves is okay. Um well, obviously, it's great, but it's not five-star. But then um, you can't ask for too much more on four-star because there's not many skills you want to do. Um, Three-star weak foot is okay, though. Like It's not it's not great. It's not uh, the worst, but it's it's not it's not great at all, I'd say. Um, you do kind of want four-star, four-star. High-high is a bit weird, but um, he should be all right as a uh, cam. And here's why, because the, the pace isn't fully there. He's got the acceleration, but not the sprint speed. So as a cam, he'll be okay. Maybe a 4 and 2 and 2 narrow cam, I think, uh, where they're just playing the balls through. That'd be good. Um, the finishing in the box, he'll be fine. Um, but long shots, he hasn't really got high-end stats. Passing is insane. His passing's brilliant. Short pass, 88. Vision, 87. Crossing, 87. And really nice curve. It's finesse shots in the box, I'm guessing, are going to be really good. Then agility and balance are nearly, nearly perfect. 
ball control, dribbling, composure, and even reactions are all really, really good. So he's going to be that player to ping the ball into feet, um, and then he'll be able to turn very nicely, uh, a couple of skill moves with his uh, four-star skill moves, and you'll be you'll be dancing really. Um, next up, I'd say the best after that it would be Frankie De Jong. Um, awesome player, four-star skill moves, only three-star weak foot, but you know the skill moves might get you around it, like Bernardo might get you out of situations. Medium high, like always, but he's the one where he's going to sit back and then bring the ball up to the attackers. Um, using his good passing, good dribbling. So he hasn't got the finishing at all. Shooting's awful, but um, the passing's there. 92 passing, 88 long passing, 88 vision is brilliant. I'd probably say go for a shadow on this card, and uh, you can get him into your team quite nicely next to someone like Kante, who's going to be the, the defensive type player, and he'll be the box-to-box -box kind of. I guess Kante uh, is a bit quicker, but De Jong is that, is that ball play in CDM. On to Madison. Don't want to spend too long. I don't know how, how long I've been. I think I've been about five minutes so far. Five, six minutes. Four star, four star is out uh, out of this world. It's it's like almost almost key. You would want a five star, but four star, four star is good. High medium is brilliant for a cam. I think this this is suited to a cam, this uh, Madison here. And then five foot nine like Neymar. But um, yeah, height is like, you know, I don't know. It's not, not too much of an impact um, unless it's massive. Um, yeah, the pace is good enough. He's a bit like Bernardo's pace, but more well-rounded. Whereas Bernardo's got the acceleration, Madison's got more sprint speed. Um, yeah, passing out of this world. Agility is insane, 92. Rip balance is 89, which is really good. And then ball control and dribbling composure, also really, really high 80s and even 90 ball control. Shot power is really good, long shots. He'll be an insane cam. I didn't think, when I first saw Madison... I thought, yeah, he's going to be all right, but he will be an insane can, Cam. Um, yeah, he'll be a really interesting one. Apart from, uh, well, I'll say this now, Pope is going to be OP. Pope is going to be OP. There's no doubt about that. He'll go into my team and I can use Allison in SBC. This guy looks okay. He's got 74 pace. Marcelo's the troll. I did mention the troll, and that is Marcelo because he's got that uh, Brazil walkout in form. You're thinking it's Neymar, and then you see Olympic Leon. And uh, you're a bit, bit confused. Alvedi is the hidden gem here because he's got 80 pace, 87 sprint speed with good passing and dribbling. And then defending and physical is really, really good. I think with a shadow, this guy could be insane in your Bundesliga team. That perfect link to Zakaria as well. And uh, Sommer, um, Birki, links like that will be awesome. And then Kostic, I'd stay away from. Maybe 3-5-2 left mid. But he's got only two star weak foot and three star skill moves. High high is a bit weird on a winger. And um, yeah, he's, he's only got the pace and passing really. Dribbling a bit, but not the, not the agility and balance. Stamina's good. Um, this guy, wouldn't bother putting him in your team. He's well rounded in the 70s, but nothing more than that really. Muller is a keeper, nobody cares. Atal is awesome, but most people have his uh, UEL card. Kramerich, uh, I, I thought thought about a catalyst on Cam Kramerich would make him an awesome cam. Just get that passing and pace up, which is the only two stats really he needs. Physicals may be a bit of stamina, but you can always serve people off. Four star, four star, medium, medium is a bit weird. Canales is a cam, I think. He's got that um, high medium, which makes him more of a cam. Even though he's a CDM, he hasn't got defending and physical. Unless you put a shadow on him. But even then, I think he'd be wasted with the high medium as a CDM. Um, and then these guys. This guy was interesting because he has five star weak foot, three star skill moves. High low, be a really fun striker to use with 95 agility, 89 finishing. I think he'll be a hidden gem. Italian's rubbish. Um, this guy's rubbish, 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 and just pace on this guy. Let's get quickly before we end this video into the um, stats on the cards and the not stats, sorry, the price of the cards. Uh, if we go on footbin here, just to end this video off with the prices um we're looking at benzema coming in close to 200k i think that, well i'll do a quick refresh because this is about five minutes of loaded so yeah he's gone down a bit um this is obviously before people have got their red in form and so bear in mind they probably will come down don't quote me on it i'm not a trader at all Kramerich 18k for an 84 rated in form could be a good pickup bernardo silva 200k he's got that link to ronaldo he's got links to cancelo's in form so it could be the links that are getting him his price really high and it could be that he's not packed yet um, Kostic is off, or he's just there for the 85 rated Team of the Week in form. And then Neymar, 3.6 mil is absolutely insane. But he's, I wouldn't say he's worth 3.6 mil from the uh, from uh, the off, but he'll probably come down a bit. 
Madison at 100k actually could be one of the best prem cams. So I'd look into that one. De Jong at 315 is a bit expensive, I'd probably say. Um, I'm trying to think of La Liga CDMs. Got that Kappa objective. Would probably be just as good, but not. They're not. They're, they're a bit uh, dissimilar. And then Pope is just OP. That's why he's 95k. Alvedi is good. Good buy for 40k. He'll be a solid centre back. And on the bench, Atal at 37. There's that um, hidden gem five so weak for 89 finishing 95 agility Bodu. But um, yeah, apart from that, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Yeah, like I said, we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers. Um, 3,000 should come, hopefully. I'm going to go for five months. That That's 800 subs for me is a lot, okay? Um, but you can make that easier if you do hit that subscribe button and um, help me out here, guys. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and yeah, subscribe if you're not already.